Volcanoes are Earth's most powerful and unpredictable natural wonders, capable of creating and destroying landscapes in moments. Beyond their remarkable beauty lies a deadly force, one that has shaped civilizations, altered climates, and rewritten history. As we approach 2025, the question arises, which of these sleeping giants might awaken next? Recent advances in volcanic monitoring and prediction have provided us with glimpses into the restless heart of our planet. Around the world, certain volcanoes are rumbling, their magma chambers filling, their slopes trembling with the promise of eruption. Today, let's explore the volcanoes most likely to erupt in 2025. Diving into their recent activity, the risks they pose, and the potential impact of these looming natural spectacles. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Kilauea, located on the southeastern side of Hawaii's Big Island, is one of the most active volcanoes on Earth, with its frequent eruptions drawing millions of tourists and scientists. Kilauea has been in a near-constant state of eruption since 1983, punctuated by periods of heightened activity. This long-lasting eruptive phase transformed vast swathes of Hawaii's landscape, covering nearly 40 square miles with lava, and extending the island's coastline by over 875 acres. The 2018 eruption was one of Kilauea's most significant in recent history. Over several months, the volcano unleashed a torrent of lava that destroyed more than 700 homes, displaced thousands of residents, and dramatically reshaped the island's topography. The eruption was also notable for its magnitude 6.9 earthquake, the largest to hit Hawaii in over 40 years, highlighting the interconnected nature of volcanic and seismic activity. Following the 2018 eruption, Kilauea entered a period of relative silence, with minor eruptions confined to the Halama Uma'u summit crater. However, the volcano reawakened in December 2020 with a new eruption within the summit caldera that lasted several months. In early 2024, a series of earthquake swarms near the summit raised concerns about the potential for a new eruption. These swarms are often indicative of magma moving through underground conduits, a precursor to surface activity. Then in June, Kilauea erupted in a remote area within Volcanoes National Park, and the eruption lasted about 12 hours and was characterized by lava flows and volcanic gas emissions. A more recent eruption began in September within the Napao Crater. This eruption unfolded in four phases over five days, with lava flows covering more than 880,000 square meters. Since then, the U.S. Geological Survey and the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory have ramped up monitoring efforts, employing an array of advanced instruments to track the volcano's behavior. As we look toward 2025, Kilauea's persistent activity will likely continue. Naples is the third largest city in Italy, housing approximately 3.1 million people and harboring a potentially imminent supervolcano. There is a concern that it might erupt, perhaps even in 2025. The Phlegraean Fields, locally referred to as Campi Phlegrae, comprise an eight-mile-wide caldera that stretches across parts of Naples and extends south beneath the Gulf of Puzzuoli. This caldera originated after two significant eruptions, the Campanian Enim Bright eruption that occurred approximately 36,000 years ago, and the Neapolitan Yellow Tuff eruption, which took place about 15,000 years ago. While its last major eruption occurred in 1538, recent studies and monitoring have raised concerns that this slumbering giant could awaken, with potentially catastrophic consequences. Since the 1950s, the caldera has experienced periods of uplift caused by the movement of magma and gases beneath the surface. The most intense episodes occurred between 1982 and 1984, during which the ground in the town of Pozzuoli, situated within the caldera, rose by nearly two meters. These episodes were accompanied by swarms of earthquakes. In 2023 alone, approximately 1,000 minor earthquakes were recorded in the vicinity of Campi Flegre. This heightened seismic activity has sparked fears that the volcano could erupt for the first time in nearly 500 years. 
The stakes for a campy flagrae eruption are extraordinarily high. The caldera lies in a densely populated region. An eruption could result in widespread devastation, with pyroclastic flows, ashfall, and lava flows threatening urban areas, infrastructure, and agriculture. Additionally, the release of large volumes of volcanic gases such as sulfur dioxide could lead to a temporary cooling of the global climate, similar to the aftermath of the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora. Given these potential risks, Campi Flagre is one of the most intensely monitored volcanic systems in the world. The Reyka Ness Peninsula in Iceland has emerged as one of the most dynamic volcanic regions in recent years. Situated on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, where the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates diverge, the peninsula is a geological hotbed, marked by a complex network of fissures, craters, and geothermal fields. After lying dormant for nearly 800 years, this region roared back to life in 2021, signaling the start of what could be a prolonged period of volcanic activity. In August 2022, and again in July 2023, new eruptions occurred at nearby fissures. These events have been accompanied by swarms of earthquakes, some exceeding magnitudes of 5.0, as magma continues to intrude beneath the surface. In 2024 alone, the region has experienced five eruptions so far, with the latest one occurring in August. Lava spewed from a fissure seven kilometers long, close to the town of Grindavik. This eruption was the largest in the series, covering over 15.8 square kilometers in lava and causing 40 centimeters of subsidence. Researchers have warned that this new wave of eruptions could last for decades or even centuries, posing risks to local populations and infrastructure. The peninsula is home to 70% of Iceland's population, as well as its only year-round international airport and several geothermal power plants. The recent eruptions have led to the evacuation of thousands of residents and tourists from towns and resorts in the region. It is highly likely that 2025 will be another year of violent eruptions for the Reyka Nes Peninsula. Mount Teide, standing at an impressive 3,718 meters, is the crown jewel of Tenerife and the highest peak in Spain. While Teide has remained dormant since its last eruption in 1909, its volcanic history and ongoing signs of activity suggest it is far from dormant. As one of the most closely monitored volcanoes in the Canary Islands, Teide poses both a scientific mystery and a potential threat to the millions of residents and tourists who frequent the region each year. Although Teide has not erupted in over a century, it continues to exhibit signs of volcanic activity. The summit area is home to active fumaroles, vents that emit sulfur dioxide and other volcanic gases. These emissions, combined with occasional seismic activity, suggest that magma is still present beneath the volcano, maintaining its potential for future eruptions. Recently, in November 2024, an earthquake swarm consisting of 500 minor earthquakes was recorded at the volcano. In addition, recent studies have highlighted subtle but significant changes in Teide's behavior. For instance, ground deformation in the region indicates that magma may be accumulating at depth. Teide's potential for future eruptions raises significant concerns due to its proximity to densely populated areas and its role as a major tourist destination. Tenerife, the largest of the Canary Islands, is home to nearly a million residents and attracts over 5 million tourists annually. An eruption could have devastating consequences for the island's economy as it relies heavily on tourism. Moreover, Tenerife's complex topography, characterized by steep slopes and deep ravines, could exacerbate the impact of volcanic hazards. Lava flows could quickly reach populated areas, while pyroclastic flows could devastate large swaths of the island. While the recent signs of unrest do not point to an imminent eruption, they underscore the importance of vigilance as volcanic systems can transition from quiescence to activity with little warning. Mount St. Helens, located in Washington state, is perhaps one of the most infamous volcanoes in the United States. 
with its name forever etched into history due to the catastrophic eruption of 1980. Characterized by a massive debris avalanche, a lateral blast, and pyroclastic flows that obliterated everything within a 230 square mile radius. The eruption claimed 57 lives and caused over $1 billion in damages, leaving an indelible scar on the landscape. After this eruption, the volcano continued to erupt sporadically, with notable activity from 2004 to 2008. During this period, a new lava dome formed within the crater, further altering the volcano's profile. In 2024, Mount St. Helens began showing signs of renewed activity. Seismologists reported a series of earthquakes beneath the volcano, with nearly 1,000 tremors recorded since February. Notably, the intensity and frequency of these quakes increased by mid-year, raising alarms among experts. These seismic swarms often indicate magma movement, as the molten rock forces its way through the Earth's crust, creating fractures and increasing pressure beneath the surface. The U.S. Geological Survey has closely monitored the volcano's activity, noting that this increased seismicity could signify the recharging of the magmatic system. This process involves the gradual accumulation of magma in the chamber, which can eventually lead to an eruption if the pressure becomes too great. However, predicting the exact timing of such an event remains challenging. It could erupt in 2025 or 10 years later. Given this uncertainty, the USGS has maintained a high level of vigilance, deploying advanced monitoring equipment to track changes in the volcano's behavior. While its recent activity does not point to an immediate eruption, the signs of reactivation cannot be ignored. The next eruption may not match the scale of the 1980 eruption, but it will undoubtedly capture the world's attention. In 2025 and beyond, the world's volcanoes will continue to captivate, challenge, and inspire, reminding us of Earth's dynamic and ever-evolving nature. Each of these volcanic systems carries its own unique risks and challenges, but they also offer invaluable opportunities for scientific research and discovery. Advances in monitoring technology have brought us closer to understanding the complex dynamics of these geological giants. However, despite these advancements, the exact timing and scale of volcanic eruptions remain elusive, reminding us of the limits of human knowledge in the face of nature's power. Preparedness and vigilance are crucial as we navigate this era of increased volcanic activity. By studying and respecting these forces, we can better safeguard lives and infrastructure while appreciating the profound role volcanoes play in shaping our planet.